Okay, so I've been wanting to film this for a long time and finally I've gotten around to doing it. No, I'm not filming any special cars or any celebrities. We've got lawnmowers here. So we're talking lawnmowers today. On my right here, we have a, a fairly new Craftsman. Both of these lawnmowers are less than a year old. They're both 21 inch. This is a Craftsman and this is a Husqvarna. And I wanted to uh, just show you the similarities and differences. They, uh, that truck go by. Like I said, they're both fairly new. I bought these to um, mow my yard here in my bank along my stream. Um, they get a pretty good workout and uh, I use them up and I needed something reliable. I was tired of my old lawnmower breaking my back every time I try to start it. So I got this one first. This is a cheapy Craftsman 6.0. And if you notice, it's an old flathead design. Um, which means it's totally old technology. Just a spark plug on top of the, the head there, the valves are in the block and they, they push out this way. Totally old, old school design. Lots of lawnmowers are this way. Well, this Husqvarna has the overhead cam Honda engine. Talk about a sweet running machine. It's got a big muffler there. It's really, really, really nice. It's got a really sealed gas cap. It has a fuel shutoff valve. It has an automatic choke, so when you uh, turn the choke on, it automatically comes off. It's a time delay thing. Whereas this one has the, uh, the push bulb. They both start and run fine, and they both cost roughly less than $300. This one, I think, was $250 at Sears. And this Husqvarna with the Honda engine was $289, a little bit more. But it has ball bearing wheels, so it rolls really nice. And, and I can't say enough about this. This lawnmower is excellent. The Honda engine starts every time, but it's actually got a pollution certification on it. You can see right there. Just when you're pushing the lawnmower, you can smell, or I should say lack of smell, this one. You don't smell your exhaust. That one, stinky, nasty, even though it's brand new, it, you get, uh, get kind of lightheaded breathing the exhaust when it's working hard. This one, no sweat and it's quiet and it rolls easy boy I just I can't say enough about them anyhow I was gonna start each one of them up and have you listen to them and just see what you think um, so I'll go ahead and do that I will start my favorite little Honda powered Husqvarna first you just simply push the choke to on and it stays there until you grab the release handle up there and pull the thing so let's uh, Let's see if how easy it starts. It's cold. I have not started these today. I haven't started either one of these. Well, actually, I started that one yesterday. So they've been sitting for about 24 hours. Let's see if I can do this uh, to hold this camera and pull this. I think you could probably get an idea of the noise. Sounds like a lawnmower, but it's relatively quiet compared to this one. This is the old style Craftsman with the flathead. It says you gotta pump the primer three times, so I'll do that. It's three times, let's see if it starts. I gotta grab the handle here, and I'm just gonna hold the camera here. I can do this. And immediately, and I have to say immediately, I can smell the exhaust on this one 10 times more than that one. It's crazy. So I'm really happy to have that orange lawnmower in my fleet. That is the cat's meow, and I would recommend it to anybody. Amazon.com, free shipping to your door. It was $289 when I bought it, uh, oh, six months ago, eight months ago. Um, and the part number is 721P. Much better, much better than the old Craftsman. I hate to say it, I thought Craftsman were good mowers, but that one's got them beat. All right, thanks for watching and happy mowing.